So a propane mosquito trap, Roger. I don't actually use one of these, but you do. Does it work for you? They work for me, Kevin, but they have a bit of maintenance to them, which we'll talk about later. First, let's figure out how they work. Okay. They take propane gas and they burn it. And when it's burnt, it comes out as CO2. Now that mimics our breath, which is an attractant to mosquitoes. Gotcha. Brings them up to the machine. Now to get them really close, we use a chemical called octanol, and this smells like our skin. We just slide that up into the machine and put it in place and once the mosquitoes come close here there's a vacuum the vacuum sucks the mosquitoes up and brings up right into this net okay so now we know how they work what do we do to make sure that they keep working properly well these machines are on a three-week cycle this propane tank will last for three weeks gotcha. so then you're going to replace the tank after you do that you want to take this net and completely clean it out it's amazing to think that that net can fill up with mosquitoes and if it is filled with mosquitoes it can clog the fan and cause the machine to fail okay now also you have to replace your attractant and slide another one up in the machine every 21 days now before we hook up the propane line we're going to clean out the fuel lines and i do that by taking the cap off this valve stem a little plastic cap so you could actually get some residual buildup in these lines from the propane? Right, any dirt we want to get it out of there so the machine will run well. Attach this brass coupling, screw it right on. We want it hand tight. Now we're going to take the CO2 cartridge, screw that into the brass coupling. Now we screw that all the way in and then we back it off a half a turn and that releases the CO2 and blows anything out of those fuel lines that's there. Now let's look at the propane tank itself. They all have a new type of valve on it. Prevents overfilling and the releasing of too much pressure. And if there were too much pressure to be released inside the valve, there's a little pin that would be engaged. Right. And the manufacturer gives us a tool to reset this pin. Simply goes in and turns the opposite way because it's a gas fitting. And that'll circle all the way in push that pin in and reset it in place. But now we also got to think about the regulator too in resetting that. We take the regulator and look at it, you'll see there's a little hole there and a little pin inside this tool. So we just screw that into the regulator and that'll reset the pin in that and now we're ready to hook up the propane tank. All right, so we've got a working mosquito trap, it's well maintained. Any thoughts on where to put these things? Placement is critical, Kevin. Put it where the mosquitoes are. They don't like sun, so put it in the shade. They love water, so if you have a stagnant water area, put it near there. All right, good information. Thanks, Roger. You're welcome.